G'day, Burke here. Just started uh, building the structure so that I can put the um, all the tier 15 gear in it. So we'll just pop along here, nearly finish that. So this is going to be a uh, building and crafting episode. Something not working properly there. That's it, let me jump. Thank you. Where are we at? That's all I want. Another wall there. Window, then doorway. This thing is so quick once you get the hang of it. And one more. Go with the centre there and we want the roof. one didn't I? Oh well. Hang on, that one's definitely not right. Yeah, it looks better. And just like that all done. Building certainly nice and quick. I thought I'd put the second chest down yesterday, no? Kind of. Okay, oh that's just tier 14, can't do much with that. Use you, and we want to get on to the crafting now. Select all facilities. Now I'm not 100% sure, I may have to go back a few levels and uh, sort this out. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get, nah, yeah, I'm two levels down there. I need to be tier 15, so I will be back shortly. I'm just going to uh, see if I can upgrade some stuff. Okay folks, so we're back and I can do tier 15 now, so that's fantastic. So we'll pop this one out. And plonk them down in the corner here, I think. Is that all the way in? Yep. Second thing we want is a soaring station. And it should allow us to do the soaring station. Yep. Cool. down that corner there. And after that I think the woodworking station will be next.
Now let's see, I know we want the reading bat. Might as well do the smithing station first. Nice, quick and easy. What else did we have in here we need? Let's get that one done. And put you down that corner there. Then we want the tailing station. Tight on room there. Chanting table, beautiful. I think that's it for the stone. Cool, so now I think uh, what we need now is a trash bin and we need some lumber. Cut some more up. Beautiful. And we'll plop you down somewhere handy. Okay, so I think put you down over here. Make sure you don't want to be in the way of the don't want to be in the way of the soaring station so that we can craft all our gear probably after I level up One, two three since I've already taken my way up I'm at what am I at now 63 for woodworking but that's not what we're after Get rid of facilities, tools, there we go, 66. So I've got 10 more levels to go up. So I should be able to get that with what I've harvested there. I wouldn't have made it before, but because I went out and uh, had to get the tear up from um, 11 to, or sorry, 13 to 15, got the job done. So I'll quickly level up and then uh, see you guys shortly. Okay, so I'm leveled up. I think I've got enough. Uh, let's get the levels up anyway. But you can't just hold the mouse down and whip up there. It'll make life a bit easier. There we go. So now we can do one of each. And the sledgehammer. Cool. So we'll go and put you in our chest over here. The reason I'm doing this, by the way, is just because uh, if I need to go out, like if I happen to be short on gems for enchanting and I need to go out and harvest some more, it's so much easier to do the job if the gear that you have equipped happens to be um, enchanted. It makes a huge impact. Okay, so... All our tools are done, so now we will be on to clothing, I think. And I'm guessing we're probably going to need some more, um, more reeds. Hmm. Let's just check. What did I have in that stash there? Yeah, we've got more than enough to make all our clothes out of rare, so we can use up that um, that uncommon. Won't matter too much. Get rid of you. Go to light armor. Rightio. So we're at 58. We've got a hell of a hell of a way to go. I'll see you guys shortly. Alrighty. So we're all good to go. Does it actually take as long as I thought it would take? Uh, the higher tier your gear, the more points you uh, level up. 
when you craft each item so like if you're upgrading say uh, say you're doing tier 11 like my last one when I level up each when I make each item I'll gain say three experience from it but when I jump up to tier you know tier 15 stuff that I'm upgrading it will go up like 25 per item so it doesn't take that long it was more about um, harvesting the uh, resources that I had to go out and get I didn't have enough so yeah that's a nice jump nice big jump there beautiful that's another one done so you guys can sit in here and I think it's just the staff now isn't it so we want to check our woodworking skill I think 63 it won't take long to do let's get some more now yeah, I might need to go out and harvest some more wood by the looks of it jeez look at this stack I've found I think three or four elite elite trees while I was out harvesting resources and now um, I'll probably use up that stuff there actually just for reference I have yet to find I'm pretty sure when I read the devs notes that he said that um, I'm pretty sure he said that uh, it was 30 kilometers and out you can start finding legendary stuff now I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but it does seem a bit weird that I have yet to see a single, like it may just be that it's super super rare, but I have yet to see a single uh, single legendary item of anything. And the picks seem to be the most common in terms of rarity. Uh, yeah, and I haven't seen anything from them. In fact, I see actually that I shouldn't say that because I think the wood's the only one that I've really found with uh, elite stuff, the wood and the uh, ore. I don't think I've seen an elite. I might have might have seen one elite pig, maybe. Anyway, okay, let's get on to this elite and see. Uh, so if you go to common, you got 156. 156 is nearly a hundred difference in magic damage there and the speeds just getting quicker and quicker so um, I'm gonna craft up a bunch of these and hopefully I remember to save one Oop, I almost did the wrong level there there we go that does give you over a hundred difference that was lucky I remember to do that jeez I hope I did that on the clothing I'm pretty sure I might have forgotten. Level 76. No, I did do it. Thank God for that. Okay, anyway. Um, I think I might do another quick cut and uh, bring all the gems and just do a quick sort on them. So that's level 76. That's the one I want. Yep. That's the one I want to keep. Is there any room left in there? Nope. Having uh, having the higher tier like this will just make it quick, quick and easy to um, yeah, having the higher like the higher uh, rarity staves will just make it nice and quick and easy with the upgrading process otherwise you're switching out um, every five seconds oh boy was that time consuming okay so we want to start off with all the tier 11 stuff but not the uh, not the rear tier 11 stuff Because once you level up um, a certain distance, uh, you no longer gain any benefit from using the, that stuff. That, uh, sorry, you no longer gain any benefit from using those gems. So we'll just 
check the floor that's absolutely littered with uh, chests and gems. Make sure we get them all. No more elevens there. Just a couple there. Okay, so we're back and not sure which one I can do here. Is it 12 with the rear? Hang on a bit. It is 12, but it is the disciple, I think. That's it. I think that's the only one that I can do in the set because I don't have the uh, appropriate matching rarity I think to do Common will do. And watch everything slowly start to shoot up. Put one in there. Start with the hat. Use an agility. One more up. And then go with the rear. do for you so we're getting low on stuff there and let's grab all this we'll do these guys next I think that's everything done yep cool so we can only do one thing at a time one two three four five It's bump, pretty sure that's bumping up the, uh, just double check that, but I'm pretty sure it's bumping up the health. Yeah, look at that, what a jump. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, because otherwise we're going to run out. It's going to be a waste, I think, of some of the resources, but never mind. Bang, wow, one and a half thousand health. Okay, so before I redo, so that's two, they use up three each, so I'm going to use up that one there and that one there probably, which means I won't even get to use this one. So I might just uh, grab a few staves. Okay, that got me up another level at least, so what do we got there? I'm hoping that I can use one, yep, and a strength. So that should give me a huge boost to my agility and my strength, which... Probably doesn't need much work, I think. Nice, so we should be all done now. Um, 
Jeez, that took a while. I've been recording for about an hour and a half now. So I'm not sure how much is going to be cut out exactly, but... Let's just go out and see uh, what we can do and then end of the episode, I think. Mm. Two shot, just like that. Beautiful. That's what I wanted to see. See, I wonder how much we do with our magic now. <laughs> One shot. <laughs> oh, nice, sweet. Well, tomorrow's episode is going to be fun. So we'll continue the trek out. That is awesome. How much damage are we doing? 276 magic damage. Wow. That is pretty cool. Alright guys, well I better get going now. Um, it's been going on. Hopefully the episode hasn't dragged on for too long for you guys. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. This is Burke, signing out.